okay guys um, welcome to this tutorial and in, in this tutorial I'll tell you as to how you can create a Linux instance on Amazon Web Services cloud computing platform and what it does is it's going to create a Linux machine image on one of the Amazon servers and then you can connect to that um, and do um, basically stuff on the Linux machine as you normally would except the difference is that now you're on the cloud um, instead of you know an actual Linux um, physical s machine you know somewhere close to you um, the purpose of this video is for beginners so I'll try to keep my language um, basic uh, the best way I can um, so um, before we actually go and create um, an instance I just want to uh, bring this uh, topic up um, so whenever you were logging onto a machine or a computer um, uh, you know, if you have uh, username and password set up, you, you know, you always need that those credentials. You know, you need a username and you need a password to log into a secured um, um, computer. Um, and for the instance of this, um, don't don't worry about you know the Amazon Web Services that's on the left right now. So you know, don't worry about this stuff for now. We'll we'll go over that. Um, but you know, there's this private key that's over here and for the purpose of Linux based um, instance on Amazon Web Services you, know, you have a username but you don't have a password um, you have a private key and by the end of this tutorial you know, you'll, physical, you'll have that physical private key file with you that you will use to log in to your uh, Linux instance so I just want to reiterate that fact that you know there's no password but there's it's an encryption based key pair so you know there's there's a public key that exists uh, with Amazon when you you know while when the um, instance is created and then you're given a private key and the only way you can log in is using that private key since you've associated that to the instance you're creating. Okay, so it could be a little confusing, but stay with me, um, and we'll go over the whole process of creating that. Okay, so now. Let's actually go and create a Linux instance. So for that, I'm already logged into my Amazon Web Services platform. Um, so on the console, I'm going to go and click EC2 under the Compute section. So EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. And if you hover over it, you will see it says Virtual Servers in the Cloud. So basically, you know, you, you are going to create a Linux Virtual Server on the Cloud. Um, so while it's coming up, you can see you know I have zero key pairs, I have zero volumes, zero running instances, um, and if you notice over here, I have Oregon selected as my desired region, and that is because you know I I want you know when you when for the learning purposes it doesn't matter where you create, but you know when you're at the developing stage, um, you always want to keep that in mind as to where do you think your most traffic will come from. Um, I'm here in Alberta in Canada and um, I believe that my most traffic will come from Alberta say for example and if that's the case you know I want to have a, um, a, a cloud machine as closest um, to Alberta and so for that region you know for that reason I'm selecting Oregon as my my, my, uh, my region. I could also select Canada Central actually this is something new I didn't notice that um, but you know, so I could select Canada Central. Um, I believe it's located somewhere in uh, Manitoba. But you know, you have all these regions where you can select um, um, your server to to host uh, your your sorry, your instance to host. Now, the other thing is that you remember I talked about key uh, your private key slash key pair. Um, Amazon calls it as a key pair um, for every. If you're creating an instance in every um, region, so for example, if you have multiple instances running in different regions, you need a key pair for that specific region. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and create a key pair. So um, you go over here on your EC2. It says zero key pairs. You can click on key pair. Um, you know, you over here. You click on create key pair, and it says key pair name. So let's say I put in um, test key pair and then I say that um, you know I put the, the region also 
in the name and that's because I want to be easily I want my keypad to be easily recognizable you know when uh, um, when I'm associating it with a, with an instance so that's my key pair as a I say create um, I'm gonna get this uh, um, dialog over here it says do you want to save this PEM file do not go f ahead without saving this okay you have to save this this is your um, um, one time to save this um, you know, if you don't forget if you don't save it over here uh, you won't be able to use that key pair so I've downloaded this key pair it's a dot pem file um, you can save it on the desktop um, doesn't really matter um, so now I have that key pair selected uh, or, or uh, um, downloaded uh, I go back onto the EC2 dashboard so you can see over here it says one key pair I can now go and click on launch instance because now I have the key pair already um, created so over here it says you know I have a bunch of different machine images available to use um, because we are, we are going to create a, a Linux based instance or a Linux based image um, I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI 2016-090 SSD volume type machine image um, you can use any other um, you know they're all free terribly eligible um, but make sure you know if you, you know you go ahead with, with Windows Server 2016, the SQL Server web that's not free. Okay, so you you know then you know you start paying to Amazon. So under the free tier, you know you have that Amazon Linux AMI. Um, to you know it's an EBS backed, um, and you can do all sorts of stuff on this. You know as you would traditionally do on a Linux based machine. You know Python, Ruby, Perl, whatever, um, MySQL, Post, GRE SQL, and whatnot. So we here click on select um, it asks you for an instance type so go ahead and select the default t2 micro instance type this basically is a uh, very baseline processor type that's that's uh, uh, that will be given to you it's a very basic one that's why it's it's uh, it's in a free tier uh, you know it's a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Xeon family um, so you know you have all that information network performance low to moderate so again you know for learning purposes um, you know it's go ahead and select that one if you're at a developer uh, stage and um, you need high performance from your instance or from your machine um, you can go down the list and select higher ones um, obviously it's going to cost you um, some money so make sure you uh, go, you know you keep that in mind so you go over here click on review and launch so these are basically all your details right now um, you know you have all the Amazon Linux uh, image details over here instance type you know t2 micro security group so again you know whenever you log into a, a computer you know you need to be a part of a security group if you're on a domain um, more of IT stuff but just let's just keep in mind that you know you have to be part of the security group and so if you are you know if you don't have a security group already created which we'll talk about that you know we'll talk about security groups in a different video it's a different topic altogether but if you if you want to um, you know uh, the launch wizard lets you create a security group okay so that's that's very handy so you don't have to worry about that um, you know whenever you create your, your Linux instance it's gonna create a launch wizard already if you already have a security group you know you can go over here click on edit security groups and you know it says select an existing security group so, you know so I have two different security groups created I could use either one of those or I can let the visit create a new security group altogether okay so once that, that go to review and launch instance details um, you know these are all your instance details um, and you have your storage it's an EBS backed volume root um, you know, all that good stuff is over here once you have that click on launch um, so now you're at the stage where you tell which key pair you want to associate with your instance okay which key pair will serve as a password to this instance okay um, this is what this all this textbook tells you basically so you can select now you can create a new key pair at this stage I don't like that I always like to create a key pair 
first and then go and create an instance so i already have an existing key pair okay so i'm going to click that click on the check spot check box um this is a key pair test key pair order then click on launch instances and there you go you, you know, it's going to launch an instance it's that easy so your instances are now launching um and all that stuff uh so you go to view instances um so you can see i have two instances terminated over here so it says you know it's, it's instance state it's pending it's starting up it's initializing uh, status checks initializing so um we'll wait till it completely uh, initializes okay so it has initialized it says it's running status checks initializing so if you click on this um, instance um you have that instance created so you basically your linux machine is now running now is you at the stage where you can connect to that um, also you know you have all that description all that information over here the status checks uh, monitoring and whatnot so um you know all of that information is over here okay so once you that once you add that click on connect um, so you have two ways of connecting to your instance uh, to your linux instance obviously one is the standard standard ssh client so you can use putty to connect to that or you can use a java based ssh client directly from your browser and that's the reason i'm using internet explorer um, so i'm going to I'm going to go for this um, username uh, you know put in ec2 dash user that's your username um, that's your public dns um, that's a key pair that's associated so now it asks okay well you said that this is the password file right this is your key pair okay tell me where your key pair is okay so basically you now need to tell this field over here where your key pair is Okay, and this is you know this is a key pair file. Basically, you need the uh, file directory for that. So that's my file directory where this key pair resides on my computer. So I go over here, do that. That's my file path for the key pair. Um, I click on store and browser cache. Just in, you know it makes it easy. Um, and then I go and say launch SSH client. So it's going to launch. Um, it uses mine term, that's a Java application, uh, as the SSH client, um, you know, web-based SSH client. So I'm going to go click run, and there you go. I'm now basically connected to my Linux instance. You can do that. You, know, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, so that is it, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, I can go and click exit now. Um, well, before I exit, you know, um, I will you know, for you know, to do stuff on your Linux instance. You know what kind of stuff you do. Uh, uh, host a host a static website, run a run a SQL Server database, uh, MySQL Server database. I'll tell that in a different video as part of a different video. The purpose of this video was only to show you the steps of how to create a Linux instance. So with that in mind, obviously now I'm connected. I can do stuff. Okay, well at at say at some time I'm done. I can go and click on file, exit, yes, and there you go. I'm basically done. If I want to delete or stop this instance, shut it down, or terminate it completely, select the instance, go on actions, instance state. You can either stop it, you can reboot that instance, or you can altogether terminate it. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate it, um, and there you go. So it's shutting down right now, but at some stage it should terminate. And then if you check it later, it should go away altogether. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of this, guys. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think about it. Feel free to put your comments down, comments, concerns, and I'll be sure to reply back to you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.